Hello everybody and welcome to the weekly message. Today is the 14th of July 2024 and I'm Akefet Arya Beka Moses, I'm a spiritual leader and we are here every Sunday with the weekly message. But next week I'm going to be on vacation, you will not have the weekly message next week, but the week after that, of course you will. So now let's go and hear our weekly message. Okay. I like the man to receive the message from a high and reliable source in a way that is not ambiguous to me and to everyone that will watch the message now and in the future. And then the message will work for our highest benefit. Thank you. Thank you. I am Metushelach. I wish to speak to you today about the truth. What is the truth? Is there really one truth? Well, you all know when there is an accident and people are asked what happened in that accident. There are a lot of different point of views. Two people looking at one truth, seeing two different things. Five people looking at one truth, you see five different things. Million people will look at one truth, you'll have a million different opinions, million different truths. So I'm here today to ask you to look at the truth in a different way. See the truth as an inner circle, as a dot. And everyone, all people in the world are standing in the circle and inside the truth. You're looking at that truth now, all of you with different perspective, different abilities to look at that truth because of the things that you have gone through your life, different beliefs, different way of thinking. And you're looking at that truth and you're seeing different things. Instead of trying to explain to the people around you what you are seeing, and why this is the real truth for everyone, we are asking you to think about it differently. <clears throat> what if the truth was looking at you? What if there's another circle circling you for a bigger truth? The one that includes all your abilities, all your difficulties to see what is the real truth? What if you can ask yourself, is this is the truth that I want to live in? What if what you see is just a part of the truth? Maybe you can choose to see a different perspective of the truth. Maybe you can see a different side. Maybe you can go to the other side. What if the truth is looking at you and asking you all those questions now? Is this is what you want your life to be? Is this is the truth that you want to teach your children? Is this is the truth that you want your whole world to be built on? If you stop and you ask those questions and you feel that you are asked these questions by the creation, by God itself, by the truth. Because what is the truth if not God? The creation itself. And in the creation there are so many possibilities for all the other truths that you see to be existed. So as you understand, yes, in the creation, which is the truth itself, the one, one truth, the complete, the whole truth, there are all those possibilities that all of you people see inside. The question is, which one do you choose to live? Now, when we ask you to think that question 
obviously you ask us back we hear you Akefet we hear your questions you ask us back how can I choose when I have the things the reality around you well this is a good question but is it really the reality for all of you is the person sitting next to you think the same as you feel the same as you as you look into your present into your future to your past is it really the reality the only reality exists around you the answer is always no there is much much more than what you can see hear smell taste with your physical instance now you need to look around you and understand that first of all so you can understand the next question is it really the truth is there might be something else there for me that I can experience differently from what I'm experiencing now as my truth as we said you always need to look for questions that will help you see what you really want to find you understand that I am a Tushelach. I am here because many times when you look into your future, you look to the sides at the same time trying to understand what is the best way to reach to that future that you wish to be in. And as you know, and you've been told this past two weeks about not looking into the future and holding the future, not holding the results, but letting go of the results so you can reach where you should go. And we are asking you now, please ask yourself about the present. This is the truth that you want to live in, in your future, the present truth that you live in now, is it? You understand what you said before, right? I have told you before, the truth is the inner circle. You are the out circle and beh behind you there's another one, a bigger circle. The truth again. All of you are inside of the big creation. All of you is a part of creation, a part of truth. And this is the reason that there's a place for all of your opinions, hurts, desires. But if you will look around, you will understand that there are many ways for you to reach to those places that you wish to. I am here to tell you that the truth is looking back at you and asking you, what do you really wish to see? Thank you, Matusherach. Well, I feel that message was um, with a lot of secrets in it. I feel that he asked us questions so that we will understand a lot more than what he really said. Am I right about that? Yes, I'm getting a yes from him. So, wow. Okay, we'll talk about it in Angel's News. Um, I need to talk to him a little bit more so I understand the questions that he's asking us. Let's do it. Let's ask, let's ask those questions. Let's understand. Um, I really wish if you understand things to write down here in the comment uh, to this message what you have understood from that message and I don't know anything that you have to say about it. Enlightenment. Enlighten me. I feel that there are a lot of secrets there in those questions. So I'll see you again, uh, not next week, the week after that, but please write down what you understand from that message. Bye.